Uh, six rounds, you look as fit as we've seen you in a long, long time. You prepared for six rounds? Yeah, look, I've trained hard. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot different when you're in there, though. Um, like you said, yeah, I haven't gone six rounds, so look, it's going to be a massive test. Everything's in his favour, like he always wants. Um, so look, at the end of the day, I've got nothing to lose. Everyone's expecting him to win, he's expecting to win, and you know, I know all I've got to do is land one big punch, and that changes the whole outcome of the fight, so uh, we'll wait and see tomorrow night. You've always backed your power, but how much does catching him in the first fight give you belief that you can do it again and finish him in the second one? Yeah, look, well, I get confidence of that because I caught him so easily, you know. There wasn't even much venom on the punch, you know. It was such a light punch and he dropped so easy. And I was actually surprised that it actually went down so easily. So I just wish I hit him harder. But, you know, this time, like I said, look, I've got nothing to lose. So I'm going to be dangerous, you know. He's, he knows that. If he takes me deep, yeah, he's he's got every chance of winning. But like I said, man, I've only got to hit him once in, in those rounds, and he won't get up. Is there any chance of a trilogy, or is this it? <laughs> oh, look, I don't think so, man. I've uh, like Gal, I think I've, I've reached my limit. Uh, look, you know, it's, I always wanted to have a few boxing matches, and I never thought that I'd reach the heights that I did and got this far. And obviously, you know, you know take it on someone who's well respected in the boxing ranks like Gal. And so we'll wait and see, man. I'll get through tomorrow night and see what happens first. <laughs> <laughs> Up there this time, can we read anything into that? Nah, look, not really. Look, there's always respect between each other. At the end of the day, we, we're going to go out there and punch the crap out of each other. It doesn't, you can push and shove and say all the words that we said over the last couple of days. At the end of the day, we've got to go out there and punch each other. And you know, we've both got young families, so we don't, you know, we don't want no one to get seriously hurt. You know, this sport's, you know, someone can get seriously hurt, but at the end of the day, he's coming to knock me out. I'm going to come and knock him out, and hopefully, it's the other, hopefully, I knock him out. He doesn't get to get, get me to knock out. So, um, yeah, look, wait and see, man. Gal's done a lot for Australian boxing. Um, what do you think of his career? Oh, look, you, that's one thing I'll never ever, you know, say anything negative towards Gal. You know, what he's done for Australian boxing. You know, you look at guys like Anthony Mundine, what he's done when he first came over to rugby league, uh, rugby league, the boxing, uh, you know, three-time world champion. Gal's, he's been massive for the sport. You know, there's no, I can never say a bad word about that. He's he's helped some, some young guys now headline their own events. Um, you know, you look at all the media attention, obviously the people that turn up to the fights and buy the fights is because of, uh, you know, Gal. He, he attracts all this, you know, he's, he says a lot, uh, he's backed it up, he's had some massive fights, but I think hopefully he's had one too many and this time I'm going to knock him out. Just on that, do you worry about Gal, Gal's health at all? Like he keeps saying he, he doesn't have a lot left and you're a big puncher. Oh look, yeah look, I'm human man, like, like I said, I'm, <laughs> I don't want to see the guy seriously hurt and like you said, he's had some big fights, you know, you hear things that he's... He's struggling with his with headaches and stuff. So look, I'm not out there to too seriously hurt him. And you know, he's got a young family like I do. And I, you know, we, we both want to go home to our kids. That's more important than anything in this world. And you know, I, I look to be honest, I just want to hit him. That hits him enough so he doesn't get up and he gets to go home with his family. You know, I'm I'm not a nasty person. I don't want to seriously hurt him. I just want to want to knock him down so he stays down and I win the fight. Then we can have a beer together. So a nice knockout. A nice knockout, but. <laughs> It all changes in the ring, but yeah, like I said, man, as long as one of us doesn't get seriously hurt, we get to go home to our families. That's much more important than anything. Good on you, Sweet, brother. All good.